Phone lines we go. Rory McDonald standing by. Rory, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing really well, and I'm sorry we got you so late. Our last guest was a very uh, chatty caddy, and he just wouldn't leave. So I apologize for that. I don't mean to keep you waiting. Are you familiar with AJ Agazarm? Have you heard of this individual? Yeah, I've trained with AJ before. Well, he just came in studio. He flew in from Los Angeles to announce that he is the newest member of Bellator. He just signed with Bellator. Did you know that? No, I didn't. That's, uh, that's great for him. Congratulations. Yeah, so he was very excited and was talking a lot, so I apologize for that. Um, Rory, it's good to talk to you. Uh, it, it has been a couple of months, um, and of course, last time we saw you in action was the fight against Giga Musasi, so I wanted to get an update. First off, how are you feeling after the fight? I'm feeling good. Um, obviously, it uh, was not a good performance, and it didn't go my way, but uh, it was a good learning uh, opportunity for myself. What was the, the biggest lesson or two that you learned from that experience? Well, I, I feel that I didn't go in, um, I didn't prepare myself properly, that I, I that I, the way I usually do. Um, I think I had too many distractions and I just wasn't focused. I didn't have a fire in my, uh, in my veins like I usually do. And, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it, I think, I think next time I just need to train harder, be more focused on, on uh on the fight and not things uh in my life as much um you know i i have a very like compared to when i first started in martial arts uh, my life is very comfortable you know i i make better money now and i have a good life outside of fighting so i guess it was uh i got very comfortable and uh, I didn't put myself out of my comfort zone for training for this fight. And I think that was uh, the first mistake. And uh, when you don't have that, there's no focus, there's no, there's no passion, there's no fire, and it showed in the fight. So I, I appreciate the honesty. Um, you don't hear a lot of people say that, especially so soon after a fight. We knew how big this fight was for you. You wanted this fight. You talked about being a two-weight world champion for Bellator. Yet you're saying this. Why do you feel like you weren't motivated? Why do you feel like you didn't have that fire? Because it was very clear what was at stake. Yeah. Um, I I don't know why. I don't know why. If it was just bad timing and uh, or what. I, I still haven't figured that out, but uh, I'm working on it. Was that something that you figured out only after the fact, or did you recognize going into the fight that things yeah, were not... I, 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 I knew I knew during the training camp that I wasn't uh, I wasn't like preparing myself properly. So I was just kind of lying to myself like, well, I'll give it my best shot when it happens, you know, and uh, I'll make the best of it, but it turned out to be the worst performance of my career against, you know, my biggest opportunity. So it was uh, you know, it's a big letdown, but it was my fault at the end of the day. I can only blame myself. What was going on fight week and, and on Saturday? Like, are you starting to have strange thoughts, thoughts that are not really uh, common when you're about to prepare for a fight, when you're about to fight because of these feelings throughout the camp? No, I mean, I felt fine. Like, I wasn't nervous or anything. I was very relaxed, but I was too relaxed. I, I didn't have any fire to, to fight hard. Um, I was too busy like being comfortable, living a comfortable lifestyle, not pushing myself out of my comfort zone and my my training. And, you know, I was just uh, very, I was too relaxed. And it, and uh, I was too relaxed in the fight. I didn't, I didn't have that fire. It was pretty clear to see, too. Did you underestimate the, underestimate the, the size differential that you were about to deal with? No, I, I, to be honest, I don't think it played a big difference. I mean, he jabbed me. He was, he had a fast jab. He kept me at bay. He used this. He was, it was more of a technical beating than anything. I mean, size didn't really come into the factor. I didn't, I didn't fight him hard enough for it to become a factor. Did you break your nose early in that fight? Um, not bad. Just kind of a little bit, but it gave me an opportunity to, to actually realign it properly which i haven't done yet so oh wow hopefully it'll heal more solid have you had surgery on it yeah like not, not like not like crazy surgery it's just they go in and they they straighten it out for you 
Okay, but but in the midst of the fight, when it did get injured, did that mess you up at all? Yeah, I mean, that was the beginning of the end. He, he, he hit a nice jab, broke my nose, and I pretty much, uh, I had one, uh, I basically just said to myself, like, I'll, I'll try to do a, a leg entry, like uh, r- that rolling Ashigrami entry, that rolling leg lock entry. He squashed me, put me on my, ba- my back, and beat me up, so... That was pretty much the beginning of the end. I didn't really have any desire to push hard. And uh, it's embarrassing, but that's the truth. What was it like in between the the first and second round? Uh, Because at that moment, now you have a second to catch your breath, and you're probably feeling this way. Was there any part of you that didn't want to go back out there? Uh, Well, I knew that I was going to lose the fight. (laughs) Wow. But I... um, I could just tell. I, I, I uh, like during the fight. I, I felt um, frozen. I felt like uh, everything was underwater. All my footwork, all my punching. I couldn't. I couldn't gauge anything. I, everything in my mind was slow. Like it was just a big. Uh, it was just there was no fire. There was no passion to make me want to fight hard. There was really nothing. So I pretty much knew it was. It was finished, and it was a matter of time. Did you say that to your coaches? No, I just, you know, I mean, I just went back out there and, you know, you seen what happened. At any point in the training camp, did you tell your coaches how you were feeling? No, but I think they could, they felt it too. They, they, they seen how I was training and they seen the intensity. It wasn't, it's not the same as my regular demeanor and my passion for, uh, leading up to a fight. Have you ever felt anything even remotely close to this before? Uh, I mean, I've been unmotivated for fights and pushed through it and won fights, but uh, no, not really. I felt a little bit like it was my it, it was the worst I felt in going into a fight. Wow. Um, and and do you have like an actual theory as to why? Like now, can you look back and pinpoint a, a an incident that happened, a moment that happened in, in the build up to this fight that made you feel this way? Well, I think it was a mental decision to just be comfortable, and you know, I and to just stay in my comfort zone and train the way I felt like it, and train when I wanted to train and do what I wanted to do, and not push and I I mean I I stayed busy and I trained I was in decent shape but I mean when there's no fire and there's no uh there's no pushing out of your comfort zone you can't it's not it's not how I'm used to getting ready for fights you know this was the first time that you were entering a fight as as a champion of a major organization do you feel like that played a part no no I I definitely didn't fight like a champion. I didn't have the a champion's mindset for this fight, but you know, it was a big it was a big kick in the ass, that's for sure. So sometimes you just need that in life, a big wake up call. And why I bring up the belt is almost uh, not so much because you're fighting as a champion or not, but maybe you're like feeling yourself, you're you're a little too overconfident, you're resting on your lows. Oh, I, I won the belt. You know, that sort of thing. Does that does that come into play? You know, I I I wouldn't say that I'm over would I'm too overconfident. Um maybe the fact that I I won my world championship, you know, is something I set out for um when I was little and I finally got it. Maybe it made me comfortable to just uh I did it, now I can relax a little bit. But um I coddled that feeling for a little too long, you know. What was it like when you went back to the locker room? Now the reality is sinking in that this was maybe one of the biggest fights of your career, and you, you, as you say, you got too comfortable that you didn't push yourself as much. Well, I was just, you know, I was upset with myself. I was upset that I had to see my wife upset, and my coaches disappointed, and like I was just, I was very disappointed in myself, and I don't, I didn't like the feeling at all. I mean, I can deal with, I could deal with losing a fight. And knowing that I, I pushed hard and I fought hard, but there's nothing worse than getting beaten up, knowing you didn't even you didn't even give the guy everything you got. So that sucked. Uh, and this might be an impossible question to ask, but just or to answer, but just like, would you say you were at fifty percent 
in that in that entire fight, including training camp, where you had sixty percent, is it even possible to put a number? Just curious, because I have to be honest, I did not expect you to say this, and I've been doing this for a very long time, and you don't often hear fighters at your level speak like this. So it's it's fascinating on this end to hear this kind right. of honesty. Well, I don't think I could put a percentage on it. I just, I you know, I I, had, I wasn't into it. I didn't want to. I, I I didn't. I didn't really have any desire to to fight hard, you know. I just mm-hmm. kind of showed up. So, you know. Do you think that you will be able to regain that passion and, and that motivation? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, you know, it was a, a, a big wake up call for me, and I've gotten to um, understand what I did wrong, and I think I'm pretty good at that when. You know, when I, I, I learned from my mistakes pretty well, and um, I'm working on some things to make make some changes and make sure I don't make, fall into the same uh, same decisions and, and mindset. Are you able to elaborate on what you're working on to change? You know, just pushing myself out of my comfort zone a little bit. You know, I'm getting back into training now and just... Uh, when it comes to my training camp, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna approach it the same way. I'm, my training camps will go back to being hard, hard nosed training, and uh, that brings out the fire in me. Are you changing coaches at all? Uh, no, I mean I haven't I haven't done that. You know I, I I'm open to like I think I'm gonna you know when I'm not training for a fight, I I'd like to travel around and train with other people just maybe mix it up with more people and more more gyms and stuff maybe maybe that'll be interesting and spark some motivation okay but but tristar and also some time in in uh at toshido and in british columbia are still your your home bases right yeah okay um and you're still going to be a part of this tournament correct the the welterweight tournament you're still at some point going to fight john fitch yeah it's like looking like march or february or something like that okay um so this this doesn't necessarily push you back all that much no no i'm i'm fine are you are you eager to get back in there to try to right the wrong or are you enjoying some time off now no no i enjoyed my time off during the gay guard <laughs> preparation i'm ready to fight <laughs> the gay guard preparation was your time off yeah, yeah. Well, and before that, you know, I'm, I, uh, I'd like to go in there and I'd like to uh, make an example of the next guy fight. Wow. Uh, and I understand you were just in the Middle East, right? You were in Israel. You were in Egypt, uh, just on vacation, correct? Yes, I was there uh, with my wife for two weeks. We had a really good time. Yeah, you enjoyed it. First time there. Yeah, yeah, it was my first time. Did that spiritually uplift you at all? Did that do anything to you internally? Not really, um, but I got to see where things happened and make it more visual. I think as a Christian, um, it's not about the physical things. I think the, what Jesus taught us and the, what the Bible teaches is that it's it's in your heart, it's uh, in the spirit. It's not about you know physical worship. So um, it was just it's more of an interesting thing to see the history to see. Uh, where things happen, to see the culture. And, uh, you know, obviously it's a very uh, complex situation over there. So it was very interesting just to be a part of it and, and you know, see it all. Do you think you will ever revisit the idea of going back up to 185? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, so you're not done with that? No. If you don't get another crack at Gay Guard, is this something that will bother you? For a very long time, the fact that you didn't do whatever you could to prepare for this fight? Not really. You're over. I've lost fights before. I've lost fights before. It's not, not my first rodeo. So, uh, I mean, uh, I'll let it motivate me going forward. But, I mean, I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to, you know, dwell on it and hope uh, and, you know, beg for a rematch of the guy who just absolutely walked through me. So if it happens, it happens. If not, you know, say la vie. Wow. There'll be more fights. Yeah. I love it. Well, I appreciate the honesty, Roy. I did not expect this, I'll be honest, but uh, 
very happy to hear from you and hear that you're in a better place and motivated. And now I'm looking forward to your return uh, more than I was 20 minutes ago. Thanks so much for opening up and, and for being as honest as you always are. No worries. My pleasure. All right. We'll talk to you soon. All the best to you. All right. Thanks, buddy. Take care. All right. There he is, Roy McDonald. Wow. I was not expecting that. You know, sometimes you talk to someone uh, while you're trying to book them and they'll tell you a bit about where they're at. I mean, to hear someone of his level and his caliber open up that way and say that he just wasn't motivated. He just was sort of not pushing himself as much. That's not an easy thing for someone at, 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 at that level to admit.